Hey, so how's everybody doing? I haven't made a video in quite a while, but I kind of want to show you guys what I have been up to real quick. Throw this up here. So basically I've been hitting thrift stores and yard sales and things like that. You can see this Jason versus Freddy movie there. I just sold it for $6 with $2.99 shipping. I paid 20 cents for that. Sold some yarn. Sounds kind of cheesy, but I had 50 cents on it. Sold it for $4.99. Another VHS movie, $7.99. Buyer pays $2.99 shipping. I paid a quarter for that. The Seinfeld, $7.25 um, with $2.89 shipping. So here's the items right here. I just gotta ship these out individually. So long story short, off that I spent $20.40.60, $1.10. I'm gonna make roughly $14.24. Literally off a dollar ten. So what I'm doing with that money is I'm actually buying silver. I haven't made any videos in a while. Um, and I'm also buying some of the toys. Uh, just kind of a childhood passion I've always had. I always wish I would have kept my old toy figures and things like that and kind of displayed them. Um, I am still buying, like I said, coins and stuff. I did stop the coin roll hunting for quite a while. The reason why is literally I was spending $25 on a box of pennies all the time of going through it just for four or five, um, maybe 10 wheat pennies. And long story short, I wasn't making any money, but spending a lot of time doing it. So I started buying movies and stuff, um, lots of things, even old toys, yard sales, uh, McDonald toys, you name it, um, DVDs, and then basically reselling them and actually turning a profit and that's allowing me to buy silver and buy the coins that I need for my albums. Which I'm going to start showing those videos or start making those videos. But as you can see, like <clears throat> videos like this, Space Camp, you know, 20 cents from the Goodwill VHS tape. Believe it or not, people still buy that stuff. Um, some Power Ranger videos, Crocodile Dundee 2. That's always a classic. Um, some of these movies, like I said, some of them... Will actually sell pretty good by themselves some of them like this one for instance i'll hold on to until i come across crocodile d1 or maybe lot it together with some other ones um same thing with like steven seagal there's glimmer man and then here's half past dead i'll uh i'll get four or five maybe ten steven seagal movies and i'll put them together as a big lot like i said i got 20 cents in these roughly 25 cents um just kind of go at it like that they said much more profitable and made much more sense than sitting there going through a box of pennies a $500 box of quarters a $500 box of half dollars just to make you know one silver half dollar or to find none um, just a lot of time going and getting a box of change going through it then dumping it back at the bank what a hassle um, so this way at least my resale hobby is actually paying for two hobbies paying for my toy collecting hobby and my silver hobby along with my coin albums I have over there so um, I know the hunt part of the hunt is really fun the thing is is I pretty much found everything I believe I'm gonna find coin roll hunting not to say that I won't do it again here soon I'll get a craving to buy a box or two but it just got real monotonous and a lot of work and a lot of time doing it um, this has been fantastic with the whole reselling. Um, like I said, I know not everybody's into the toys and things like that. I really dig it. Um, hopefully some of you guys do as well. But anyway, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of kind of what I'm doing um, and what I've been up to. Let me know if you'd like to see some more videos kind of showing what I've sold, um, you know, and what I've profit. What I have been doing is once a week, if I make, let's see, I make $300 profit in selling things. Um, I'm putting $100 towards silver. I'm putting $100 towards the toys on the wall, which believe it or not, they do hold value. Um, you know, I've had a couple of them giving you an example, like this Cara Dune. I could have sold her a couple times for 40, 50 bucks. She cost $12. All these, believe it or not, do hold their value. Um, especially those 
Super 7 figures there. You know, I've got like Karate Kid, different random movie movie figures, stuff like that. Obviously, the vintage toys um, grab a high demand. So, I found some of these He-Man at a Goodwill. You know, that He-Man there alone, I could probably sell him for 18 bucks or more. Some old Robin Hood toys that I had when I was a kid. Duke's a Hazard lunchbox, has a thermos. Uh, old Voltron leg. It's pretty cool stuff. But anyway, like I said, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I've even sold some remote controls. Uh, just basic remote controls I've gotten for 25 cents. I've sold for $12. Just, you name it, crazy stuff. People collect and buy anything. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.